Hi guys, welcome back. So today I have part of my March wrap up for you. Today I'm just going to be talking about the five graphic novels that I read in the month of March. Um, I read a lot again and so I thought I would break this up into a couple of chunks. So this video is all about the five graphic novels that I read this month. And one thing I will say about this is I probably have less to say about graphic novels than books. Um, even I do write reviews on Goodreads but I, I don't know, for whatever reason I have a harder time like reviewing them. So I'm just going to tell you what I read what I rated it and a little bit about it if I have, feel like I have something to say. So this is going to be pretty short and sweet. And as always I'm going to start with my lowest rated and then move on to my highest rated. One thing that I should say is none of these were five stars. It is very rare for me to give a graphic novel a five star rating. I don't know why exactly but I like and maybe I should reformat my rating system for graphic novels but generally speaking unless it really really wows me I have a hard time giving it five stars so there you have it. First I read volume two of Giant Days and I gave this one three stars. I liked it. I didn't like it as much as the first one. If you're not familiar with it it's about three girls who are friends in their first year of college and kind of them coming into themselves and dealing with college related things. I really really enjoyed volume one. Volume two was fine. It felt a little bit more like it was meandering and I liked it but I just didn't feel that strongly about it so I gave this one three stars. Also all of these I got from my library. One of them I still have out so I will show it to you and this is actually the latest thing that I read. This one I, I haven't actually written a review on yet. I finished it last night. I think I'm gonna give it three and a half stars. I'm just not sure how I feel about this one. So I picked up East of West. This is volume one and this was actually recommended to me by one of my librarians because he knows that I do enjoy graphic novels. And it was interesting. The premise is really interesting. I'm just not sure how I feel about it. It is very gory, which maybe I should have known that going in. It's like a dystopian alternate history sort of thing where the four horsemen of the apocalypse are characters. Something weird has happened that wasn't supposed to where death like fell in love with a human and got married. I don't know, it's it's interesting. I liked it more as it went on, but it is pretty dark and sometimes pretty gruesome. So I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this one. I gotta think about it. I'm not sure if I'll pick up other volumes. I may, but I'm kind of on the fence on this one. Let me know if you guys have read this and what your thoughts are, or if you know where the series goes and if it changes or gets really interesting. I would be curious to know. Then I had two four-star graphic novels. The first one was Volume 2 of Wires and Nerves by Marissa Meyer. This is finishing up this graphic novel story, which is about eco, which is just fun. If you like the world of the Lunar Chronicles, you will probably enjoy it. I gave it four stars. I liked it. I'm glad I read it. It was good. Then the last two things I read were Saga Volume 7 and Volume 8. And Volume 7 I gave four stars, and Volume 8 I gave four and a half stars. I mean, I think the whole series is good. I really like it. I like Brian K. Vaughn. Um, I think volume 8 I rated a little bit higher. I thought it dealt well with some really interesting themes that are super controversial. So I thought that one was really interesting. If you want to know more about my thoughts on that, because I don't really want to talk about it on here, links down below is my Goodreads account. So if you're interested in hearing more about that and want to hear my thoughts, feel free to go check out my review on there. So those are the five graphic novels I read this month. For some reason I was under the impression that Volume 8 was the last part of Saga, but clearly it's not. The story is definitely not over, so there's going to be more. I don't know why I was thinking that, but I was. Um, anyway, so I do enjoy the series. I think it's good. I like Giant Days too. I'll probably continue that series. I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, so I picked up a few graphic novels. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know, do you have any recommendations? What are other good graphic novel series to pick up? I would be interested in hearing that. Thankfully, the New York Public Library system does have a pretty good selection of graphic novels, so they're easy to find, which is nice. I don't know why. I have a hard time buying graphic novels. I like reading them, but I read them in like 30 minutes and they're done, and so paying $15 for that is just kind of hard to do. Plus, I just feel like a lot of the things that I read are pretty graphic and gruesome and... 
I'm not sure that I really want to have those lying around my house with all of the pictures having very young children. Like, that's just maybe not a thing I want to do. So I prefer to get them out from the library and then return them when I'm done. Those are my feelings on it. So anyway, talk to me in the comments down below if you guys read any of these, if you have other recommendations, if you like graphic novels, if you don't like graphic novels, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.